Good evening. It's Carolyn Muncy here. And I am from Ransomed Relics. If you haven't uh, followed my page, hop on over and follow my page, Ransomed Relics. You'll see a lot of the designs that I've done. I do a lot of hand painting. Uh, as you come on, let me know you're on. Um, we've got, I've got something I think kind of special um, for you tonight. And it's a project that I've been working on. Of course, it's hand painted. And um, I am using Prima products in order to spice it up a little bit and uh, give me some, you know, difference, right? So as you come on, let me know where you're from. Uh, let me know um, that you're joining us and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be working on. This is actually a door and you can see the door and I see some people coming on. Let me know where you're from and let me know who's on here. And so here we've got a hand painted door. You can see I've got the panel up there and then we're gonna just, hey Joe, how are you baby? And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna look right here. Wow. Someone's in the jungle, aren't they? Uh, so this lion, or, or I guess she's a leopard, she was painted with some Dixie Belle paint, but a lot of Prima Impasto paint. You've got your Impasto paints there. And um, so you say, well, what do you got to do to her? Well, I could go ahead and I could hand paint florals. I'll bring you down here where you can see I could hand paint florals there, but you know what? I think I'm gonna use some of the Prima um, floral uh, transfers, and I'm gonna show you the ones that I'm going to use. But before we go there, I think I'm gonna bring you in and let you see some of the products that Prima has to enhance your design. Um, as you can see, she's, let me put you up just a little bit. Uh, she is, and I think I am all tied up here. I don't want to move that a whole lot. Let me see if I can get my, I've got wires here, and they're holding my tripod in. So let me see if I can get those loose so I don't have to mess up my tripod and mess you guys up. All right. So we are going to come in now in close and personal. And I want you to see some of the things that I have done uh, to her face. And you can just kind of see her. Um, you see her eyes here. And let me see if I can bring you in just a little bit so you can get a good look at her eyes. Because when you get away from her, you can't see a lot of what I've done. What I wanna do is I want her eyes to come alive. I want her eyes to uh, look at you and when you look at it, you go rawr, right? And, and she is just really looking at you. I have got some Prima Bronze. I am going to, uh, it is the uh, Metallica, uh, let me see, Alchemy, Art Alchemy Metallic, and it is in, let me look at the uh, name, Brass Hardware is what it's called. But you can kind of see, I hope it comes over here. I've added quite a bit on it just to give her spots some interest, right? But I don't know if you can see this. I've outlined her eyes just a little bit. In, in this, and I feel felt like it really, really made her eyes have some depth and dimension. And you probably can't see it, but I will show you on the other eye what I did is right through here, and, and right through here, I have done gold here. So when I'm looking at her, I can see just little gold flecks in her eyes. And I am using, uh, right here, it's the Prima Rub-On Foils. 
I don't know if any of you have ever used these, but these Prima rub-on foils I absolutely like. And I'll tell you the reason why I like them is because they give me, I, I can get a heavy look with them or I can get a light look. And on this, I kind of want a light look. And you place the foil, the gold side up, and I'm just going to place the foil right there. Now, for me, I'm going to use scissors just to kind of rub that. And I'm going to rub that around. And that gold will be a subtle gold. And you guys might not be able to see it. But when you're up close, you can really see her eyes start to glint and start to um, have movement in those eyes. I actually think I'm going to add a little more over here. And all I'm doing is I'm rubbing that gold on. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And she looks like she's got gold flecks in her eyes. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a thin paintbrush and I'm going to come in here with uh, this um, brass hardware. And I'm just going to outline, just barely outline those eyes a little bit. Give that just a little look. And the good thing about this, you guys, is you can do it where you feel. And, and, and all that's doing, it's, it's adding a little bit of depth, a little bit of interest to her eyes. I'm going to come over here and just add just a little bit. There might be just a touch up here. There might be just a touch up here. And then all of a sudden, her eyes come alive. Now, when you're working with an animal like that, uh, their eyes are very, very important because their eyes are going to give you the in, uh, impression of, number one, what they're looking at, and number two, their personality. I don't know how many of you have ever painted animals, but they're an amazing, amazing thing to paint. And so I'm going to come in here with my impasto paints. And I'm not going to do all of this online simply because I don't want to bore you and we've got a lot of things to do. But I will come back through just with a thin little brush and I will add her some eyelashes. I'll add her some hair coming up here so that you see little bitty parts of hair. The amazing thing to me about what you can do with these products is that they're so user friendly, right? Um, and you can use them with so many things. I'm just going to give her, I'm going to give some eye, eyelashes out here too. And we want them kind of going up a little bit, not real distinct. That might be too distinct. I'm just going to come in here and just kind of, because they have, they actually have eyelashes too. They've also got whisker lashes, don't they? And I've got some of them on there that maybe we might want to add just a little more. Oh, got a big thing on there. Okay. Might want to add maybe a little more. Just, you just want them wispy. You don't want them real, real pronounced. And that's the reason why I water down the impasto paints to do that. And, and they're just haphazard. Now we've got her ear over here and we're gonna add some hair to that ear. And what I'm using right now is the Impasto Paints. Uh, let me see, I've got it right here. And it is called Linen. I don't wanna use a white because that would be probably a little too bold. And let me make sure you can see. Uh, hi Gina, how are you? I'm going to pull you up just a little bit so you can see her ears. And I'm going to add in just some hair. I need to make sure I get my paint moving. And you do that with latex with water. That's the beautiful thing. And so I'm just going to get some, some hair moving on her ears down here. And... Um, you know, the hair is, is really what adds so much 
to um, this leopard, right? It makes her feel, you know, like she's real. And I'm just not getting that there. So here, just keep working with it. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into my brass hardware. Uh, art alchemy and I'm going to add some hairs from that and and when you stand back and look at it it really gives her just such an unusual and a nice look and we're just going to add her some hair through here get my water here and just again I want to keep it flowing because when it flows it's going to I'm going to be able to get a thin line you want just thin lines and there's just going to be maybe a little through here maybe there's going to be you know just some hair coming through here you know because they're they're pretty hairy and I'm not going to show I mean I have to go through this whole leopard and do this you guys so I'm not going to keep you here the whole time, but I want to show you exactly, let me put you up just a little bit. I'm going to show you exactly how this just adds in to her look and gives her just, just kind of a, a neat, neat look, I think. And you can see right here. Now I used, um, when I did her, and I'm trying to find it. Prima has a great leopard pattern. And you can use that to make her spots, right? If you're doing anything leopard, I could come up here and I could do some leopard up at the top panel, which I just may do that. I think that might look pretty neat. And you can just kind of see right here, it's sticky on one side, it's a stencil. And you can just put that leopard pattern on her, just, you can just kind of see, and, and you can make your leopard pa pattern. So don't say you can't draw a leopard, right? All right, I'm gonna back you up a little bit now, and I want you to see, you can just kind of see she's a little glowy, isn't she? Um, so we're gonna move down here, and I am going to cut out my roses and my florals i picked out this and it is called midnight floral this is the floral that i probably will use because i feel like she fits in the vein of what we're doing you can kind of see that flower there i definitely want to use that flower and i'm going to put this paint up before i spill it and then i will go back and i will put hair all over this girl so that she looks more realistic and looks nice. Um, you know, when I'm doing a door, some type of a door, if I'm hand painting some type of a door, I want it to have purpose, right? I mean, it's good for it to look good. It's good for it to, um, you know, just kind of be unusual and pretty. And I'm gonna lay that just like that. And we're gonna build a floral garden right here let me find my little rubber here that rubs off this off and I know I have it all right so I'm just going to use this and rub this on you know the great thing about all of these uh, type of products is that they're interchangeable and so you can hand paint you can use Prima's paint uh, or the paint that you normally use. And then you can add your florals, right? And you can um, just absolutely use every single bit and it makes it so nice, you guys. Cause I mean, yeah, I could go through and I could hand paint all of this, but sometimes, you know, number one on a door, it's not like a piece of furniture. You know, sometimes your time, you have to think about your time and uh, what, you know, what your time is involved. So we are just going to make 
her in just a bunch of florals right here. And I like that. I don't know about you, but I like that. I think that looks really, really, really nice. Okay, and then we've got this rosebud. I love this rosebud on on this um, stem right here. I'm thinking I might just, I just might use, well, probably you'll have to cut it up. But that's the thing about these transfers is that you can cut them up and I like it that these add a little bit of gold because we're going to be adding more gold as we go along and as I continue to paint my uh, leopard I'm going to add more gold too so let's bring that and you know what you guys you can absolutely um, absolutely um, layer your uh, transfers so that you get a really, really, really nice look, right? So I don't think I'm gonna go over there because that is going to cause me, uh, this is running off. I think I can use this a lot better as I build this. You know, as you build, don't look at something as it is. Look at something as, as it can be, right? And we are gonna cause her her just to shine and she is just going to be in just a plethora of flowers down here now I could go back through like I normally do and I just might who knows but I can go back through and I can even hand paint uh, these and make them stand out uh, even more and uh, who knows I might have to if this doesn't transfer most of the time it takes just a little bit of rubbing and then they transfer but it's no big deal if they don't because you can always go in and fix it I always say there's not too much we can't fix with a little bit of paint and a little bit of patience right it's been a beautiful day here in Ohio it's been hot. I don't know about where you're at, if it's still hot, but you know what? I will take that heat any day over the cold. I like the heat. So here we go. We're just making her just kind of set in a plethora of florals. I like that right there. So I'm just gonna add this in down here. And you can see that's even going over that a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep my head out of your way so you can see. If anyone has any questions, go ahead and ask the questions and I will always come back and answer them. Uh, I don't know how many of you have used the florals, how many of you, um, most of us have are in, familiar with the transfers. It's, it's one of the great products that Prima has. And I love adding the little bit of gold that's going to add in with this bronze, I think. And it just looks really, really pretty if you could see it up close. It's very pretty. Let's see if we can get that off now. Yeah, it's a coming there. It's a coming. And you just keep working your, you just keep working it until it's released. And as it really releases, you can see it. Okay, so now we are ready, I think, for a big flower, right? I love um, Prima's impasto, impasto paints, you guys. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. And um, I love working with them. I love painting with them. They're just a joy to paint with, really. And I'm going to see how much of this I can get on here. Now, I know that some people have said, oh, you know, that the transfers can be a little pricey. Well, but the thing about it is, when you break them up like I'm breaking them up, 
I can get two or three pieces, or two or, yeah, two, do two or three pieces off of just one transfer. And I can see right now, this leaf is gonna go out. So I'm gonna cut him off. I'm gonna lay him upside down so I can put him somewhere else. It's just that translucent leaf. All right. Well, that looks pretty right there, doesn't it? And that's going to go over that a little bit. But that's okay, you guys, because it is going to look, it's going to look layered. It's going to look um, like you just didn't put a transfer on. You've layered it and you've created dimension, you know, and th and that's, that's kind of my my forte is I want to add dimension to anything I do. It doesn't matter if I'm painting, if I'm doing transfers, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to create dimension with whatever I do because when you create dimension, that's when your piece comes alive, right? And I'm just going to try to score that on the side just by going on the side and see if that will keep that from lifting, it didn't quite work, did it? It wanted to lift off. Now down here, you can see it did work, uh, but that's okay, that's not a problem. All I do is go back and lift that up, and if it's not, I can scrape it off and repaint, you know? So we've got this going right here. I hope your summer's been good. I hope you've been able to get out a little bit uh, and enjoy the weather, and enjoy being able to go outside instead of being cooped inside. I know some people are still staying inside, but just because of health reasons or whatever. But you know what? I've I've really enjoyed I've really enjoyed my summer this summer. I think I've appreciated more being able to go out. You know, sometimes we take those things for granted, don't we? And uh, now I don't think we do so much. So I'm trying to rub that big old rose off. And you just kind of keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Till you get that where you want it to be. And as you lift, if it doesn't rub off, just go back down on it and eventually it will release and then you've got your floral down there I'm trying to make sure my head's not in your all's way because i'm trying to see too prima also makes a tool that you can use with your transfers all right let's See how much of this we got on. Oh, we got a good amount on. There you go. And you can kind of start seeing how we're building this um, uh, beautiful florals. And it'll go kind of here and go around. Now, I like this one right here. And I'm going to cut this out. And I'm doing a lot of the burgundy flowers. Um, let me clean this off right here. Some of that, some of that transferred on there, but that's okay. All I have to do is scrape that off and it'll come right off, you know. All right. Um, I won't take the time to do that on, on the live. I will do that later. Um, Alrighty, let's go here. Um, I don't know if you guys have used a lot of transfers. I know that uh, I really enjoy them, you know, but I also enjoy hand painting. That kind of seems kind of where my mind goes. Um, but at the same time, there are just times where you don't want to put the time into hand painting, and this makes it so usable and so easy. Maybe we want that gold leaf kind of going over here. And there we go. 
There we go. I bet there's a lot of people going out to eat tonight and enjoying their night out. What do you think? Because we don't hardly have anyone on, do we? But that's okay. People will watch it on the replay, and that's one thing that I've learned. It doesn't really matter what happens. But I do want to show you what we're going to do up top, if you'll stick with me for a minute. And, uh, you know, I think that sometimes um, you got to see the whole picture of what we're doing. And you can kind of see I did hand paint just some leaves, and I might go back and hand paint some of this to make sure that it looks like it matches. And that's very, very, very easy to do. If none of you or some of you have not seen it and that is watching the replay, or if you're watching this and you've never seen me hand paint, you can go to my page, Ransomed Relics, and if you scroll down, you're gonna see where I hand paint a lot of transfers. And I love that look. I love the look of a hand-painted transfer. And when I have something that doesn't, like that was kind of lifting up, so you can kind of see there. When I have something like that, you can either leave it or you can go back and you can hand-paint it. And it makes it, give gives it such a beautiful look, you know. And a lot of times, I don't really even worry if sometimes they don't come off. I really don't because I know that sometimes it gives it a distressed look or you can go in, like I said, and you can fix it by hand painting it. And when you're going over a transfer and you're layering a transfer, they have a tendency to be just a little more stubborn, I think. And you have to be careful or you'll pull up your other transfer along with it. And then they won't adhere. All right. All right. Now, some of you talk about the halo effect how that when you do the transfers and you get a halo effect. Now, personally, myself, that bothers me. Uh, some people it doesn't bother and that's fine. For me, it bothers me. So if I feel like I'm getting a halo effect and that it is really noticeable, you can do one of two things. You can sand it off a little bit you know, and sometimes that works, sometimes that gets rid of it, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm gonna just rub that. So I wanna back you guys up so you can kinda of see what we've done, if I can. So you can kinda of see what we've done to our leopard. You can just kinda of see, he's now setting in a bunch of florals. And I'm not done yet, but I do not want to bore you, we are going to go up top. We're going to, I'm going to show you what we're going to do up top. And my wires are just absolutely giving me fits tonight. All right, let's set that up there. Maybe that would be better. Okay, so let's go up top. <laughs> Hope that didn't make you sick. For some reason, my tripod, I've got like a gooseneck on it and when I first got it it started working really 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 good so let's go up here to the top now what I've done is I've used my impasto paint I've painted this up here and then I have went and I bought from the Goodwill just kind of like a candle thing and I put this I got I put that on there I've got two little candles that has uh, that has this and all of a sudden I have changed this door and let me get back maybe I can send you back get you back all the way to where you can see 
the length of that door. It's very hard, you guys, when you're going landscape to get the whole thing in. There you can kind of see how you get the whole thing in. And so not only have I transferred, formed this door into something unusual, I've also gave this door a purpose. And any time that you're redoing furniture and you, uh, you want to sell it, think of trying to give what you're doing purpose. And as you give it purpose, then people all of a sudden see, oh my goodness, I could put this by a bed and then you could have candlelight and create ambiance. And then all of a sudden it has a purpose. Um, so that's one thing that I learned as I'm doing furniture is that if I can give whatever piece that I'm doing a little bit of a purpose, then it sells easier. Now this, I wanted actually to drill a hole and mount a light up here, but I couldn't really find one. And I found this and I thought it was really, really pretty. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take my eternal wax uh, and I'm just going to hit these gold highlights here. Any type of little detail that you can add that enhances your product. I'm just going to add a little bit and I'm, I'm probably, you guys probably can't see that, can you? You're so far away. All right, so maybe I'll bring you forward again and so you can see what that eternal wax. You guys, I could eat this stuff almost. I love it so much. And what that does, so you can see this is, this is plain. It doesn't have any wax eternal on it. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just start adding and start adding so you guys can see i hope you can see it makes it very hard you guys sometimes to know what you can see and what you can't okay so i'm just going to go around the edges so you can kind of see how much that adds just putting a little bit of wax on it and just giving it just a little touch, a little touch. I honestly think I just about used this on almost every single every single piece I do just about somewhere because it's such an easy way to dress up a piece. All right, so I am going to continue working on this girl and I'm gonna continue painting her. Um, so the next time you see her, she's gonna be done and she will be available and I hope that um, she'll sell. And if she doesn't, hey, maybe I'll use her, whatever. So I hope you guys have a blessed night. Uh, share this video to your friends. Invite your friends to watch it. And um, um, we will see you n not next week, but the week after. All right. God bless.